Alright, I got a crappy spell, and barely gonna get this to level 3, but I did it. Alright, see if I can burn this off and get something better. The jumps are pretty much the worst. Uh, hey everybody, F-Bomb Fitzgerald playing a little NG on Hassle Castle, aka Spooky Upward. Um, the map does have a couple differences with regular Upward, but, uh, you know, it's similar enough. So, I'm running the Jag. Uh-oh. I gotta be careful if that spy is still lurking here. But I do appreciate Banana saving my sentry. Um, but yeah, so I'm still trying to get all my buildings up to level 3. I was busy getting my contract ready before the round started, and now I'm kind of paying for it. But honestly, I think I got most of my important stuff up to level 3 before it was critical. Alright, now I'm jinxing myself. Oh, that's him. Spy Scout! Uh, Spy Scout left side! Little help! Oh, I can't believe I couldn't pistol him down. He backs up. Yes! Oh, I love the pumps and kill. Uh, oh, and now I got some other problems because I don't have a sentry backing me up. I'm trying to get a little bit better about using spells preemptively to save myself. Um, man, that's a really annoying sound. I guess that guy's using red tape recorder for some reason. But yeah, I'm trying to get in the habit of picking up spells even when I don't think I need them and trying to remember to use them if I get into a sticky situation. And I gotta be careful in case that spy comes back. I find spies like to run the same routes. I guess bad spies like to run the same routes over and over again. And I'm sticking my sentry a little farther back than normal, which is not gonna watch the flank, but I'm hoping the shadows that are in the spooky version of Upward kinda help hide it maybe surprise some people. So I'm running the Jag, which is generally a better wrench for offense than defense, but it's my only wrench that has pumpkin bombs, and I really wanna show off some pumpkin bombs. And I'm using the Pompson, which is easily the engineer's absolute worst weapon, but I picked up a specialized one to use in a professional fabricator, and I figured as long as I had it, might as well use it in a round or two for the uh, the memes before I burn it in my professional fabricator. And all right, I guess that's not the spy on their team, but that is definitely an Uber coming my way. So use the spell to try and buff myself out of there. All right, yeah, fireballs are pretty good. Uh oh, you are definitely a spy. I will take that crumpkin. So, one of the very, very few positives of the Pompson, other than the fact that it can't be reflected, I believe, is uh, when it's crit boosted, the laser looks identical to normal. So it's really hard for people to tell when you're shooting a crit versus when you're not. Ooh, I like that pumpkin bomb effect on the fireball. Alright, looks like we're keeping them kind of further at bay than I'd like. I was sort of hoping they'd start running through this tunnel, because Choky, choky areas like this are one of the few places that the Pompson actually can be good. Alright, start dropping back with my positions. And I'm trying to hold on to this fireball because I feel like it's a really good get off of me tool. Who's flanking here? And, yep, even if I couldn't get him with the fireball, I figured the bullets would finish him off. Alright, yeah, we're holding relatively well here. So I'm going to get start getting a little bit more aggressive with my buildings in the hopes that uh, I at least start getting some kills. I really want them to run through this tunnel. But I guess people are using invis spells or something to get behind us. But that's not really my job. So my jag is professional kill streak, but I guess one of the drawbacks of having the fly head is it'll only really show a kill streak effect if you get to 10 which I wouldn't mind as much if I could get killstreak credit off of the more spells. I think right now the only spells that'll give you killstreak credit are the uh, Comet super spell, like the Meteor Shower one. All right, oh, I was really hoping I could save that in time. But honestly, I'd rather uh, rebuild in the tunnels anyway. Now I'm definitely getting paranoid that people are going to start showing up behind me, which is why I'm trying to hold on to this spell. But if they don't make a stronger pub push in the next 35 seconds, this spell is as good as any to spam down a choke. 
so maybe I'll hold on to it for that. Are they even gonna come? Yeah, I think I see some bullets coming through there. Oh, if there's a medic, maybe I can get a little bit of uber drain off of them. That would really, really mess with them. Alright, let's be careful here. Yeah, I definitely feel better with a level 2 watching my back than a level 1! Oh! No! Oh, I was so scared the fall damage was going to get me there. Yeah, it looks like the level 2 is doing a good job of slowing them in here. Yeah, toss the spell in for good measure. There we go. Yeah, if I had gotten uh, kill streak credit off of either finishing people off or the spells, I'd at least be able to show off my Hypno Beam. But uh, I can't really complain. Alright, what happened to my loadout? Alright, looks like the loadout server went down for me, but at least it didn't kill my buildings. And I guess it doesn't really matter. Anyway, hope you're having a great Scream Fortress and a great day, and I'll see y'all in the next one.